Bionic Woman fights for her life and the life of Steve Austin. This time she won't escape. The Bionic Woman. They broke her neck. And you're going to tell me who they are, or I'm going to break yours. A vow of vengeance becomes a death wish, and Beretta takes on a kung fu killer. Then, the three most beautiful detectives in the world become racetrack groupies to investigate the death of a driver. Get them while they're hot. They're Charlie's Angels, right after the Bionic Woman and Beretta. A night of excitement Wednesday at 8 on ABC. Tuesday, Pinky Toscadero slays the Fonz on the new season premiere of Happy Day. Then, the motion picture you wished would never end hasn't. The premiere of Rich Man, Poor Man, book two, right after Pinky on Happy Days. Tuesday, starting at 8 on ABC. It has been almost writing on the wall all over. And Kathy Jones said that she's blaming herself. I said, don't go on these guilt trips because it's happening none of nobody and none of us. It happened and you walk by it and it's fine and dandy. Just hang in there. Because she knew that he's getting very weird and he's getting sick. Well, it could have been on six months ago when she was, he was still working for the, for the uh, uh, factory. The following is a reply to our editorial on Openly Burning by Veronica Stauffer, a fifth grade student at Steinsville Elementary, Ellettsville, Indiana. Though I'm only 10 years old, I have read stories about the problems caused by open leaf burning. My opinion is that burning leaves cause pollution. People are paying money to get anti-pollution devices to clean up the pollution. To save money, why not have a community mulcher? Or have volunteers to work in a building where they pay people to bring in leaves? Some cities pay people to bring in old cans and bottles to recycle them. Why can't Indianapolis have people to bring in leaves? Chop leaves make great fertilizer. Farmers would pay to have this for their farms. Instead of losing money, this would help Indianapolis earn money to clean up pollution. Indianapolis, being a beautiful city, doesn't need pollution. Los Angeles is called the small capital of the United States. Unless we want Indianapolis to have the slogan also, I think we should do something about it. I believe open leaf burning should be stopped now. The preceding was an editorial reply by Veronica Stauffer of Steinsville Elementary student, Ellettsville, Indiana. Never has so much power been used so ineffectively as in Vietnam. If after all of this time and all of this sacrifice and all of this support, there is still no end in sight, then I say the time has come for the American people to turn to new leadership, not tied to the policies and mistakes of the past. I pledge to you, we shall have an honorable end to the war in Vietnam. This time, vote like your whole world depended on it. In these days of inflation, you need a well-paying career, not just a job to get ahead. That's why many people are upgrading their job skills with computer science training. In business, computers are the way of the future, so I know my career is secure. Running a computer really keeps you on the move, and I like that. Beat inflation by upgrading your career skills at the College of Automation. Start your new career in computer science today by calling the College of Automation, 987-9575. into the mall for the wildest all-night party of their lives. It's dead meat. But you're never alone. In the chopping mall. What's that? Robot life. Where shopping costs you an arm and a leg.
chicken eggs for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, for just $3.95. Two for five pound here tonight. That's up here to you. Yes, what? Our price. No, 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 no. Take that one there, one pound. Don't fuck me about no more pain. I've got no more pains. Take it. Temper a pain. Don't fuck about me. Oh, yeah, love it. Where is it? Bob Shasta, leave it there, don't fuck about it now, one pound. <laughs> temper a pound. Go away now because I'll lose my temper. Go away. Bastard, anybody else? Temper one pound. Twelve. Twelve. One dozen. Oh, piss off, anybody else? Temper a pound. The customer's always wrong here. Temper a pound. Any other one or just this one? No, we have loads of them, love. Just, uh, you, you, you want to start opening, so you're not, you're not in the uh, sub of his nail, love. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Look, but I'm full of folks who do your hair. Everywhere, look, here, here, look, here, fluffy. Oh, no, no, no. Here, number one, here, hey! Oh, no. Temper one pound. Come on, you're messing about, love, love. Any, any temper a pound, don't fuck about it, please. Temper a pound. <laughs> Any ten for one pan. They're a pan each in it. <laughs> He's giving them all in. I'm giving them away, basically. Yeah, take them out of it. Take them out of There you go, one pan. There you go, man. One pan. Anybody a pair, pair of all. Love it, love it. We're getting fewer core tools in Area 5 than in Area 1, but a lot more bone. Could this be an area of bone tool manufacture, or was it just a trash dump for garbage? August 6th. We're getting deeper and beginning to find burnt orange clay and small ash lenses in the soil, but we're not sure of their significance yet. Yeah. Little bits of charcoal scattered through some of the uh, clay stuff. And there's been an increase in grinding stones in the northwest area on the northwest side and a decrease of chipping waste. This may be an area of women's work. August 14th. We're finding quite large charcoal fragments with burnt clay. This may be an indication of roof covering and beam. sort of a, a split personality that any really sophisticated archaeologist has in that he has to have the sophistication and flexibility that, but at the same time he has to meet a payroll that is there are always practical practical limitations to what he can do and 
this plays an enormously important role in that it is impossible to objectively get all the different kinds of data that are available. We're beginning to uncover burnt house posts. We have to work carefully because we don't know how the posts are laid out yet and we might cut through one or miss one. We spent two hours today putting preservative on house post. We're going to try to take it out whole. We've come down on the center of the house and are following the floor out to the rim. The floor is fragile, so we work barefoot. They're basically the same. There are posts around the edge, sometimes one in the center, and a central fire pit with one or more mortars near it. We found that the floor is more compact near the center of the house. It appears that most indoor activities were carried on here. We're beginning to see the saucer shape of the house and the pattern of the posts. The floor around the house is very well defined. Do you think that's all the same floor there from here over to there? Mm-hmm. Yeah, same level, same floor. I don't know really where it goes. There's a lot of posts in there. Yeah, there's a good post right down there. Mm -hmm. Two of them, huh? Is that another one? Well, that's a good one. Uh, that's this one you can't see. This one's wild. Yeah. Is it real? about the time that they uh, went in and lit him out there at the site. And they had the chief come up there and asked my grandmother to come down to the celebration, down to the big sweat house. And they went down there and went in the sweat house to, to see the celebration. And when they got there, well, the Indians all got, they had a bonfire in the middle of this, this uh, dance hall. And it was dark in there and smoky. And uh, a whole lot of the Indians lined up all around the wall. And they brought him in there and set him down. historic rivers meet and add to your summer fun. MacGyver, Mondays at 8 on CKCO-TV.
Today's college athletes aren't just interested in scoring, winning, or kicking the other team's butt. Hell no, they've got more important things on their minds. Hey! You know, you're cute, but you're not my type. They're dedicated to driving their dean. I want to win! Their faculty. And their coach. Hi, coach. coach. Out of their minds. And if we both win, I'm yours for the night. All right, you guys, I want you up and out of here. We got about to an hour. Jocks. The comedy that proves champions aren't born. Sir, my boys are not pansies. They're made. I just love your thoughts. You two ain't going nowhere. Christopher Lee, Richard Roundtree, R.G. Armstrong, Scott Strader, Hi. Mariska Hargitay, and Perry Lang. They're jocks, always showing off what they've got. I want to show you something I'm real proud of. Oh, my God! Is this a party or what? I love it! Jocks. They're degenerates. Hello, I am Zarko Draganic, Manager of Communications Engineering at General Magic. Today I'd like to show you a very exciting new development, Magic Cap for cellular phones. This is a special new version of Magic Cap software targeted specifically for cellular phone form factors. It's based on our in-house reference hardware, uh, the MIPS Gen 2 Big Board. Uh, I'd like to show you the hardware now. Uh, the, the center of the whole system is the, the Big Board, uh, based around a MIPS R3000 Dino ASIC and also the Betty Analog ASIC, both developed here at General Magic. Uh, this standard big board that we use for development in-house has been modified for, this, for the cellular phone version of Magic Cap. What we've done is we've added a very special tiny LCD. It's a 1 8 size LCD screen uh, and we've crammed it inside of uh, cellular phone form factor plastics. We've also added a touch screen that fits exactly over that and a microphone and speaker so that this prototype can be used exactly like a cellular phone handset with the exception of, of having a cable. But you get a feel for the size and being able to touch the screen exactly as it would be in a real product. Uh, so that's a variation from the, ex from the standard reference hardware. We've also added a, um, an analog uh, US analog uh, cellular phone connected to the big board so that we can actually place live phone calls and receive live phone calls over the US analog cellular network. Uh. New from Larvae Foods, it's Mama Steve's Rumba Toast. Our special Rumba Toast has a special flavor, our customers will swear. Big fresh at our factories, where you'd least expect, you can find it. Mama Steve's. I just clean that off of my pants. Where they'll eventually work their way up into the shelves at your store, only to be swept away every night by those people who just don't get it. Mama Steve's. Flavor that's as interesting as our prices, and twice as mobile at only one quarter time. Mama Steve's. Rumba Toast! If you could dance to it, you'd make a fortune. Entry blanks available as a contradiction in terms. Mama Steve's Rumba Toast! From Larvae Foods. Just think about it. The Clever Rodent Cafe at 13th and Venison has really got it in for you. With an even wider menu, you can hardly walk through the door and mull over a handful of barrel of Otis potato chips and muse over a steaming cup of Boo Boy. Just stand there as you sit at your convenience and gog at the salvo of lip-swacking good items.
special. With eggs, we'll be the tallest of your linkage. Say, how about that? Why, it's our ham and organs. Chopped ham with heart and kidney chunks in cream sauce with, with mashed potatoes pyramids. Take it a meal, or throw it at your Dave. You like it plain and simple? Why, how about our chip teeth on toaster? Or, our new chef, Strum Leakage, is beside himself just to stand behind his new specialty. Filet of soul, with an aside of ugh, rotten potatoes to receive the drippings of the soul. All these and morons at the Clever Rodent Cafe in Minneapolis. This is the forage of the mystery. This is the easy night comfort. This is your weird. It's a splashy musical with boatloads of Busby Berkeley. Dive in for Esther Williams at her best in Easy to Love. Coming up next on Cinemax. Hi, this is Stevie Wonder. Please don't miss my latest album, In Square Circle. Watch it, I won't be your friend. Exclusive new videos in Stevie Wonder's album Flash Special. On Cinemax. Nerds! Nerds. Nerds. Nerds! What is a nerd? <laughs> They've been laughed at. Picked <laughs> on. There's a roommate, pal! And put down. I'm not kissing a nerd. They don't have the moves. Oh. Or the muscle. You know karate? I uh, know. Good. But they've got the brains. I know what we're going to do. It's time for the odd <laughs> to get even. Their action tonight demands an immediate retaliation. How many cameras do we have left? This can do it. Oh, oh. here she comes. Go up, go up. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. That nerd saw me naked. Oh. Nerds as good as you. Revenge of the nerds. Their time has come. I drink to that. Tomorrow on Cinemax. How does a television comedian make it big in the movies? What are you trying to tell me? It takes more than personality. We are the wild and crazy guys. It's just not that simple. Yes, it's just that simple. And that's why... I'm Chevy Chase, and you're not. We'll trace the careers of four superstar comedians, from their TV roots to their big screen breakthroughs. Well, there's something you don't see every day. Crazy about the movies, funny to features. Wednesday on Cinemax. first started in this business did you have any kind of uh, thank you success plan any kind of plan for world domination well I don't know I mean, we had a plan we, we wanted to we wanted to get a band that could, could stay together and, you know I mean and that, that would have a long-term sort of chance for making something of itself because there's so many bands we see them in Australia and there were a lot of good bands and they get to a point you know where they they're just ready to, to break and then the egos of whatever forces that are inside are just split them apart so that was that was about as much of a plan as there was to have a band that could stay together and work together essentially the band has has a lifetime uh, there's a few that have, that have survived past that um rolling stones and people like that become an institution but i don't think um i don't think bands have the same lifespan that they used to i believe that music's becoming more disposable and that people want to see new things so um and plus of course everybody's got their own little sort of ideas about what they like to do as well i mean i think the band will probably um will attain a certain perspective on the band and it won't be completely running our lives and, and that's the situation I'd like to reach.
This is 44 WSNS-TV, Chicago. How do you feel about existence? It lives. <laughs> no. How about you? Jeff, come here. I really don't know. You don't know? <laughs> I'm telling you, man, we are intelligent yeah, people. <laughs> we have a, a man to interview. Wait, wait. Yeah, but you do exist. Sure. Stand right here, Jeff. You exist. Yeah. I hope so. so we live. Yeah. Exist, you know, not extinct. Yeah, but a rock lives, but it's not alive. It exists. Hi there, all you wild animals. I'm Dumbo's friend, Timothy, the top mouse here on the Casey Jr. Circus Train. Me and Casey got a lot to show you, but before we get rolling, your trainer's going to make sure you're all seated inside your cages and cars. Okay, Casey, let's get this show on the road. All aboard! All aboard! Let's go! Here we go! That storybook land way right down there. Along the canals are the homes of a lot of your old friends, such as, uh, 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 let's see, oh, Mr. Toad, Alice, Snow White, and a bunch of funny-looking dwarves, and, hey, Casey, look out! That tunnel looks pretty narrow up there. Whew. We made it. We still got to take it easy, though, because we're crossing the canal, and it's awful wet down there by those windmills and dikes. Uh-oh, that hill ahead almost stopped us last time. Come on, Casey. You can do it. Come on. Wowie! You made it, Casey. Hang on, everybody. That's where Peter Pan and Tinkerbell practice flying when they're not out chasing Captain Hook. You know, Snow White got lost once here in the Black Forest. But we don't have to worry because Casey knows a secret way out. Hey, hey, slow down, Casey. We're back home again. Stay seated now till Casey stops. Oh, and you wild animals in the cages. Your trainer will be right there to let you out. Bye now. For your safety, remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside while the tram is moving. And supervise children. Please hold on to hats, glasses, or any loose items that could fall from the tram. If an article should fall, please stay seated until the next stop and inform the nearest cast member, or raise your hand to alert the driver. Thank you. We're now en route to the Disneyland Resort Entrance Plaza, Gateway to Disneyland, Disney's California Adventure, and Downtown Disney. Before entering the parks, we'd like to remind you that smoking is not permitted except in designated areas. Shirts and shoes must be worn at all times. If you have brought your own food and beverages, we ask that you please use the picnic area located just to the left of the Disneyland main entrance. Once inside the parks, we invite you to try Disney's Fast Pass, a free guest service that saves your place in line at some of our most popular attractions. To find out more, please consult a guide map or ask a cast member. If you plan to leave the park and return later today, please keep your passport and have your hand stamped as you exit the park. If you leave the parking area and return later today, just show your paid parking ticket to re-enter. Just ahead is Downtown Disney, an exciting shopping, dining and entertainment district. And beyond it is Disney's Grand California, a luxurious resort hotel inspired by the famed arts and crafts movement in California. We are now approaching the entrance plaza. Please stay seated until the tram comes to a full stop. At the end of your visit, please return here to take the Mickey and Friends tram back to your parking section. The trams will continue running until one hour after downtown Disney closing. Please gather your belongings, lower your head, watch your step, and exit to the driver's right. Thanks for traveling with us today, and we hope you have a happy and memorable visit to the Disneyland Resort. This is the Entrance Plaza. You're into vacation from Sanity, I think two of them already. Oh my god, I'm just puffing up all The bluff house, five minute vacation. Did I, sign, did I sign a release for that part? Yeah. I don't now, would, you, would you like to be in the bluff house of a five-minute vacation from Sanity? 
the hell kind of a question five is minutes. that? Five minutes. All right, that will be that will be in number five. <laughs> Hey, sir, can you tell me what you think of Phil Smith? He's my idol. I really admire the way he can quote verbatim from Heart of Darkness. What a guy. Would you cut that out, friend? In his latest edition of Anything But Monday, it was completely incomprehensible. I did not know what he, in the world he was talking about. His friend's story about France was more comprehensible. Yeah, I don't know. Super trans. Linda, please come to the sporting goods for fishing license. Okay, let's go. We need a security guy. Stop. Hold. Stop the film. Stop the film. How's the fucking film? Oh, we'll use the chicken machine. Chicken machine. Chicken machine. We'll use these guys. Did you film me there? You should film me going through that door. Right? I did. Dude, I'm talking now. You should have the audio on. It's all right. We're here. No, not good lighting? There's no light. <laughs> I think it's good for the, for the effect because you see like this guy like... There you go, know. George. There we go. Yeah. For a good time tonight. Yeah. Oh, there's one. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, uh, pick one and action. Come on! Alright, let's go look. We're gonna we're gonna give up on our Dr. Uh, Hook. Greatest tips. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's it's like a real fire truck. Now comes the part where I pull out the hose. I'm talking to a little bit like this to see what happens. I don't know how much the volume control here, but I'm not sure how important that is. Let's we'll see what happens. All right. I've posed so many times getting hit in the face with a cell. Take two. Take two. What's the face? Did you get it? He flinched. <laughs> Take three. <laughs> I'm crashed on it. That's good. Take four. I had enough of this. <laughs> I, the snow fell back. I want a little bit of snow to fall forward. <laughs> Very good. Good shot. It is thank your cat, no. no. They do this to me all the time because I know. Anyone, is anyone else hungry? Yeah. They do this to me. They'll order for five, me oh, in four, French. Four, 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 four. They do that to me. It is thank your cat. I thought you were dead. Oh, Reincarnated. Oh. Okay. I'm oh, right there. Come on. Got it? Good, wait. Got it back up. A little bit. I'm a little bit getting a rod up your ass right now. Just like standing around like, you know, it's, I'm the, I, I work in the, uh, you know, you have like a, like a, a, a flash, you'd be like swinging. Yeah. yeah. That's like, that's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that, do that. Get like a flask. Okay. Like a flask, yeah. Don't make it, make it scotch. Alright. You wanna, uh, Get this going. We have to get right. going. We have to get this moving here. All right. Um, no crashing in this scene. What is it? What is it? Come on. All right. All right. Ready? Get and him. Get uh, him swinging. Go like, go like. You should be like swinging so we can see it on the camera. All right. Put Whenever you're ready. Okay. All right. Ready? Start with that. Scott and Scott Spencer. Got it? Yeah. Okay. I'm having incredibly impure thoughts. Yeah. This discontinued Cheyenne and Orangina is worthless without it. Those damn people at Pepperidge Farm. Thank you. Bye. Until October 23rd, Colby's is having a sofa sale that's too important to miss. Eight of our most popular sofas will be available in two collections of designer closeout fabrics. 
And depending on your choice, the sofas are sale priced at $4.99 or $599, a savings of 25 to 40 percent. And there are matching love seats and chairs available. So come to Colby's for a sofa sale too important to miss. Colby's, Chicago, Oak Brook, North Brook. It's the coffee that you needed, but you didn't have time for. The interest that you wanted, plus the gift you always pined for. It's your life, it's your money, and we help you make the most of it. That's safe for federal savings and loans. It's 16 branches, even open Saturdays. A home improvement library, a place for your kids to play while you save. It's a lot more than just banking. It's your life, it's your money, and we help you make the most of it. That's safe for federal savings and loans. Gloucester is a space flight simulator that'll take you on a journey into the fourth dimension where you'll engage in a fierce battle with clever anti-forces and bold configurations while avoiding collision with barriers. Journey through time tunnels to rescue spacemen floating helplessly in the black void. There is no space to hide now. You must boldly go where few men have gone before and it's gonna be a blast. Today, everything rocks with a special excitement of rock groups, rock music, and rock fashions. Get together with now, Mattel announces the new rock flowers. Heather, Rosemary, Lilac. Three out-of-sight fashion dolls. Each rock flower has a real record of her own rock music, a wild rock costume, and a posing stand so she can twirl on any short spindle record player. The Rock Flowers. You can dress and pose them like beautiful fashion dolls when you buy these exciting now fashions. Or you can play that they're famous rock singers performing for you and your friends. Get Heather, or Rosemary, or Lilac. The new Rock Flowers. Each comes with her own rock costume, posing stand, and record. Dolls and other costumes sold separately. Ladies and gentlemen, this happy evening, we're here in the not-so-spacious dining room of Mr. and Mrs. Roberto Carducci with prospective son-in-law, Martin M. Mitchell. Oh, boy, my favorite. <laughs> Spaghetti with red peppers, clam sauce, and garlic cloves. And we need love garlic cloves. Marty's fiance, Geraldine Teresa Carducci, having just prepared her first meal, is now serving poor Marty his fifth course with more major courses still to come, including Geraldine's specialty, fettuccine with anchovies and olive oil. Oh, I can't go on like that. Now poor Martin is getting one of those topsy-turvy upset stomachs. No, my stomach feels like a balloon. Unfortunately, the Carducci's don't have any Alka-Seltzer around. And now poor Martin really needs it. Oh, uh, thank you. I think I'd like to lie down. Please, on your next joyous occasion, don't find yourself without Alka-Seltzer like poor Martin M. Mitchell. Oh, oh. Is it possible to move the dog off the couch? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Near Meaty Bone is a barking good treat, bark if you like meat. There's a biscuit in the middle wrapped with meat, bark if you like meat. Introducing Meaty Bone, the first dog biscuit made with real meat. Inside there's a crunchy biscuit to help keep your dog's teeth clean and strong. Outside there's a delicious coating made with real meat. New Meaty Bone is a barking good treat, bark if you like meat. New Meaty Bone, made with real meat. saga that captured millions has returned. Now, go back in time to the apes that captured mankind. Time's wiped out everything you ever knew. To a world twisted backwards into the future. Man has no understanding. Imagine yourself at the mercy of apes. Take your sticking paws off me, you damn dirty apes. Roddy McDowell and Charlton Heston, the original Planet of the Apes. Tonight, 1045 Channel 7. 
It's a musical adventure for the whole family when a flying dragon attempts a daring rescue to save his friends. We're trapped! Last of the Red Hot Dragons, next. A special 90-minute show as we remember all those wonderful real people. Yeah. With the Dallas cheerleaders, the San Diego Chicken, and more Wednesday. Hey, Coach, the Sox start a five-game series with Detroit tomorrow night. It's a twilight doubleheader beginning at 5.30. It's teen night, so all teenagers will be admitted for half price. And WLUP will host the teen night activities between games, featuring a disco demolition with Steve Dahl and the lady, Gloria. Don't miss it. Well, I'm sure hope I don't miss it. There's Fryer to lead it off. Saturday night's going to be Irish night. <clears throat> Even Tiger Lions is going to be here. And tomorrow night is tea night, as Jim mentioned. WLUP Disco Demolition Night. I got a beautiful girl named Lorelei. Boy, that's a funny call letters for a station. Whoop! Sounds like you're swallowing. WLUP. Whoop! There's a ground ball foul on the third baseline. All right, the kids are already changed sweatshirts. He had a real heavy, long sweatshirt on. Now he's changed to a lighter one. It keeps pulling it up, so it's a hot night. No! Gleaton, that's his name. Jerry Don Gleaton. 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 By the, look, G. by the looks of him, we're going to hear a lot about this boy. He's a pretty good looking pitcher. 1-1 one, one pitch. High fastball. Remember the LUP. How'd they ever come up with that? Well, look. They, they took what they could get, Harry. Look. The FCC Whoop. says you take these and you go, loop. Loop. Oh, well. Can't There's beat. a high pump foul back. Can't beat fun at the old radio station. <laughs> two balls, two strikes. I never realized there were so many disc jockeys until we, st until we began doing White Sox games every other inning. There's some station represented. Two balls, two strikes. Look. Hey, Harry, come on, Harry! Ah! <laughs> he finally caught it! He finally caught it! <laughs> Give it to me! Give it to me! <laughs> oh, let's watch it again. Look at Harry. Get ready for the wildest, sexiest, craziest, most intellectually stimulating movie of the year. I promise to do everything within my power, using all my abilities, talents, and assets to win every man on campus. So help me hot! When you got the hot... You got everything, and everybody is out to get the hot. Hots stands for hold on to a sweet Take one. Really? <laughs> Oh, pest control, miss. I'm looking for bugs. I'm in here. More out! Smith football! Take it off! Take it off! Take it off! Take it off! Lonnie the robot. Does he do windows? I do not do windows. Oh! He must touch it with two hands! I think I'm going to be sick! Get way to the left! Hots! 
We'll have to disperse. I told you they'd break this joint. It's real cool. It's real crazy. Hot. It'll make your temperature rise. Everyone knows what hot stands for, and it's disgusting. H O H S. Wometco Home Theater introduces WHT, the movie network. WHT gives you movies every night of the week. Twelve great features a month with stars like Marsha Mason and Richard Dreyfuss, Bujo and Burt Reynolds. Shown from start to finish, uncut and uninterrupted. In Brooklyn, Queens, Staten Island, Nassau and New Jersey, all for only $15 a month. Call 520-2700. WHT, the movie I'm Phil Rizzuto, announcing the new graduated payment plan for homeowner loans at the Money Store. Borrow up to $50,000 or more for debt consolidation, business investment, or any reason at all. With much lower payments in the first year, increasing to a fixed level from the fifth year on. Call the Money Store toll-free. In Connecticut, dial 1-800-842-1105. That's 1-800-842-1105. Miss Half Pint Contest is back. Have you ever seen such beautiful children? The age of the child must be between two and five years of age. You must register the child between May 14th and June 17th at your participating Carvel Ice Cream Store. And you know, these kids wind up with their own float in the King Orange Parade. Yes, they do. a selective television viewer, then you should be reading TV Guide magazine. Nothing else tells you more about what's on, more about what to look for, more about everything you need to know to enjoy television more and understand it better. Get TV Guide, the magazine for selective viewers. Commander Koenig has not responded to treatment since becoming irrational and crashing his ego. He reacted psychotically to the arrival of a rescue mission from Earth, and he remains convinced that its appearance is somehow sinister. Aliens with the power of telepathic hypnotic suggestion set out to destroy Moonbase Alpha in a special two-hour episode of Space 1999, Wednesday night at 8 on 11 Alive. Hello? Hello? What is this? Albertson? Yes, um... Would it be permissible for me to maneuver your donuts? No, no. No, we got a contract out for that right now. Thanks. Pardon me? We already got somebody that does that. Does what? Does our donuts. I'd simply like to come into the uh, market and, and maneuver the donuts. No, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, come in and purchase some. That's fine. Um, I'd like to handle them personally. Oh, uh, well, sorry, you can't. We already have people hired. Come in and fill application then. For, for what? To uh, handle our donuts. If you want to work here, come in and fill out the application, then you can handle our donuts. No, I'd simply like to place them um, strategically throughout the store, is all, instead of just in the case. Well, yeah. Well, hey, you know we got caller ID right now, and we're tracing this call. How about if I threw donuts at you? Look, I'm, I'm serious, man. I'm going to trace your call right now. You're going to trace it? Yep. Do you have tracing paper? This may take a while. Have a chocodile! Hostess chocodiles from Chauncey Chocodile. It takes a while to eat a chocodile. You'll have to wait a while. Have a chocodile! It's so big and delicious that it takes a while to eat a chocodile. Post this chocodile! Lots of golden cake covered with chocolate flavor and cream filling inside. So big and delicious that it takes a while to eat a chocodile. Post this chocodile's cake.
you're inclined to go to the flicks today. Thompson is Theater One, the little big man with Dustin Hoffman and Martin Balsam. The deserter at Thompson is Two with Richard Crenna and the keen Femu. At Mac the Annex, one more train to rob with George Capard and Diana Muldauer. Mac the Compound, Anthony Quinn in RPN. Then Wally Marvin and Clint Eastwood in Paint Your Wagon. Canto, Walt Disney's The Aristocats, animated feature, voices Ava Gabor and Phil Harris. Fung Tao, Alan Arkin and Catch 22. The Nang Theater Number One, The Diary of a Mad Housewife, Richard Benjamin and Carrie Snodgrass. The Nang Theater Two, Gregory Peck and Tuesday Weld and I Walk the Line. The Nang Freedom Hill, Richard Burton with a raid on Rommel. A new lease at Pooh Cat, Walter Matthau and Elaine May. Dewey Wah, Zeppelin, Elk is Summer. <laughs> with just one thing on their minds. God, does that girl have a great fire? Where do they get these girls? Oh. They always wonder why don't I meet girls like that. How do they get these girls to do this stuff? To get in the movie. People will do anything. That's it! Screen test. 
And so our heroes decide to lure girls by making their own sexy movie. Because everyone wants to be a star. Nice pig. The casting call goes out, and from under every rock come hopeful candidates looking for that big break. Or maybe just a little outrageous action. You've never seen auditions like these before. It's more than incredible, it's insane. But best of all, it works. Screen test. Suddenly it's girls, 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 ready for lights, camera, and especially action. But just as our heroes are getting what they always dreamed of, the mob steps in. And now it's a race to see whether our red-blooded young movie moguls will finish their film or whether their film will finish them. Don't kill us! Screen test! It's gross encounters of a sexual kind when the girls think they are starring in a movie and the boys have other ideas. Getting there is all the fun, so get set for a wild roller coaster ride that puts the sin back into cinema. Screen test.